Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'm going to introduce you to trading via price action and value. Searching for value and trading from value is what the institutions do. And whatever the institutions do, you must do on a smaller scale because they've got a success formula. And it's the success formulas that I studied when I learnt to trade. And they're the success formulas that I've used to become a successful trader. And I want to share this knowledge with you. Now, I'm going to use this YouTube platform to give you some information and I'm going to start with this video, give you some information really about how I trade. I can't pull the trigger for you, I can just guide you, you know. This brain of ours, <laughs> we've got the same type of brain you and I, um, this, this brain of ours wasn't set up to understand price charts, it, it's not set up to um, make a success out of us as traders and we need to reprogram it and condition it a little bit to understand how price moves in order to be successful and to take winning trades. Now I'm going to talk you through a couple of charts but I trade every chart in exactly the same way and I can trade any market and I'm not being big-headed here I, the same price action takes place on Tesla as it does on Amazon, on Facebook, on British Telecom. You know, the same price action takes place. It's buying and it's selling and there's a value area and the value area is very important because when price is above the value area, then institutions, banks, hedge funds, they, they look for price to drop back gently into the value area and then they'll buy. When price is below a value area, they'll look for prices to rise gently before selling. And that's generally how they operate. When prices are going up, they'll look for good value and they'll buy. When prices are going down, they look for good value and then they sell. And they'll continue buying. You know, I heard in the early stages of when I was learning to trade, I, I heard, and, and through working in financial services for many years of my life in the corporate world, um, I heard the, the phrase, keep on dancing until the music stops and <laughs> that's the mentality of traders so that's what you see in price charts as well when price is going up they'll buy until prices stop going up and then they'll wait for prices to fall and they'll start selling until the music stops so it's the turning points that are important and it's the value opportunities in the middle that are important and they're your way. They'll see you through to success in the markets and that's what I want for you. So I'm going to talk you through and spend 20 minutes or so now just talking you through an introduction into how I read the charts and how to understand value and how to recognise what the institutions are doing. You know, you need practice at this before you spend any money, before you put any money on the line. You need practice at this. You need to see it for yourself. And I'll be doing more of these type of videos to help you. And then what you're doing is you're training your mind to see opportunities and see the market for what it is. You know, the smoke and mirrors that you need to see through in trading and the smoke and mirrors catch us all out before we know what we're doing. And, you know, my job, what I do for a living is I help people see through the smoke and mirrors and see things for what they are. And I'm hoping that you get a flavour of that in this video today. So let's go ahead and have a look at the charts then. All right. So this is the one minute chart on the DAX from this morning. And the opening uh, bar was this one here green bar here with a tail below the exponential moving averages that I've got on the screen here and the body above it. So 
I'm going to talk you through the most important things to look at in the price action on every chart that exists in the world. Every price chart that exists in the world operates in exactly the same way. It's a combination of, that we're looking at of price action and momentum. And these moves that you can see up and down are driven by traders' desire to make money. And they operate on different time scales. So this is the one minute chart and we're going to cycle up the charts to see what's been going on. And basically the same thing happens on each chart. And that's what makes it complicated because the orders that are being placed here to drive the market up, here to drive the market down, are not necessarily being based on the price action that's taking place in front of us here on the one minute chart. It's a combination of orders that are placed based on higher time frame charts as well as the one minute, the five minute and the 10 minute charts. So let's have a look. Basically what we're looking at is um, we're looking at the candlestick uh, low here. There's a, a spike or a tail on this candlestick. It opened here, went down, that's the open, that's the close, and it went up to a high here. Okay, and then came back down and closed here. So opened here, went down, went right up to, to here, and then closed here. So that was a green candlestick. The price went up. Okay, so notice what happened with this candlestick bar in terms of context. So you've got the 8 EMA blue line, 20 EMA red line. Now these 8 and 20, you could look at 25, 21 instead of 20. You could look at 6, 8, 9, something like that for the blue line, the faster EMA. But basically what you've got here in the middle between these two lines is you've got what I refer to as a value zone. Now this value zone is very important in terms of context, providing context for trades. And as you'll know, I look at content, context and confluence for trades, three C's. And it's important because the institutions, the hedge funds, the banks, then the computers, then the algorithms look for weakness in these areas to take trades. And so when you see the price go down, reject up and close up here, um, that's weakness on behalf of the bears trying to push prices down. That's weakness. And the institutions took trades down here on the hope that price would go up. And probably the confluence for that was that you've got a low here, price went down, low, a high, which was a higher high, and then this low here, which is a double bottom, um, provided the confluence to say that's going up. And so they bought in this value area here, price went down into the value area and was bought down into the value area and was bought down into the value area and was bought. And so notice as well, and this is important, that when there's a big gap between the value area and the low of a candlestick or the close of a candlestick even up here, big gap down to here, um, the gap's always closed. So the price will either tail off like this or it'll, and it basically was a level price range for a while here as the average is caught up and it'll either do that or it'll plummet right back down quickly and it did that in here. So what we're looking at here is you can see here the price had because it went up, it had to come back down to the EMA and it did. Now, I don't take these trades, but they are, you know, this is tradable back down. It got too far away, back down. And again, too far away, back down. Too far away from the EMAs, back down. 
too far away, back down. And it's how it goes back that I think is important and is important to my trading strategy. It went back in a weaker way than it went up and that meant that it was likely that when it get in, gets into the value area it's going to be the institutions are going to buy again and they did and they only stopped buying or the bears became stronger for a short period of time when you had a lower high you got a lower high there followed by a weak bear response another lower high there which shows you that the bulls are weakening and then a good response a big bodied bar which is bigger than the body of the previous green bar and price started going down now this is important here because for some reason which I understand and you'll understand as well um, uh, th th there was no buying in this value area there was just selling and why did that happen and one of the reasons is there was a lower high here uh, two lower highs that is basically a failure to go and make a new high and when there's too many failures then the bulls start pausing their interest and the bears get interested and sell and that's what happened and then so the price went down below the value area came back up got close to the value area and there was more selling again more selling and then it made a higher low and the bulls took control again for a while so these are all the sort of things that you look at and these are you know there are trades plenty of trades within these areas within this value area for, for you to take a look at and to take advantage of and that's what the institutions do and that's what you therefore should consider doing and so the key and the skill is to know when it's going to the value area is going to act as support and resistance okay so here the value area was providing support so the price was coming down and the value area was offering support until the support area got broken and then you can tell there there was a little tiny little flick up and then it was offering resistance to higher prices and for a short period of time the market sold off but it was only a short period of time before the bears ran out of steam and there was a higher low a strong bar there green bar and price started going up above the EMAs now the EMA the bar that crosses the EMAs is important if it's nice and strong like that one there went through the 8 and the 20 EMA nice strong bodied bar that's what I mean by strong big red body on that bar and it went through both of the EMAs it had already tested this horizontal level several times and it was ready to go through flicked up back down as soon as that bar went red there was a good trade short so you'll notice that that was one bar and you know one two three bars that's you know that's the that's what I'd trade um, and so uh, you know you're looking at the one minute chart you've got 10 15 points in one minute and then the price got too far away here from the EMAs and therefore had to go back to the EMAs where it therefore then sold off again and that was very predictable that it would sell off there for me and it sold off and again there was a two minute trade there and sold off again there but unconvincingly because this bar here you got a green bar there green bar there that closed just above the ATMA that shows willingness of bulls to take price above the ATMA risk of a failure to go lower here which it did fail and then it crossed over a nice strong green bar and price rose for a bit it rose until there was a double top there 
and big strong red bar takes price down. So you see there crossover, there's another crossover that changed the trend from down to up and that was a big strong green bar there. That was an engulfing candlestick here and a big strong green bar followed it and price started rising and bouncing off the 8 EMA and on the way down it bounced down off the value zone here. So hopefully you're starting to get an idea now just to prove what I was saying let's have a look at the five minute chart and so this was early this morning overnight price went down failed to make a low down here big strong green bar was followed by a little rise in the market trading range down here equal sized bars and then a big green bar took price through the value area and the response was more buying so when that then pulls back you can expect buying from the value area which is what happened all the way through here until the open this morning and you got a failure to go higher here followed by a big red candlestick and price went down for a while but it reached a level here where there was a big gap and price started rising so that's the five minute chart look at this this was um, here the high lower high middle there quite a big double top and the trade didn't quite work out or hasn't done yet and one of the reasons for that is because it isn't a five minute double top that that's a higher time frame double top so let's have a look at a higher time frame to see whether or not it's likely to materialize this trade well looking at this this is the 30 minute chart now this is the same double top in here uh, you can see that this green bar was stronger than the reply this is the double top here is stronger than the reply and therefore you then got another big strong green bar and the chances are that that double top there will be a failure and that all it was was there was a gap between the price and the EMA the average prices the price close here uh, sorry here a price low of that bar and there's a gap white space in there and it was soon closed before the market started going higher and hmm, it looks at the moment as if my, the price is going to go higher so that might be a failure in that double top there okay so buying again you can see oh it's crossing over the EMAs right left and center here no consistency in that that's tends to be you know that's overnight trading um, and this is a trading range you get in higher highs lower highs higher lows lower lows and <laughs> that's what happens in a trading range and in the trading ranges like this you can almost put a horizontal line in there for the lower the range there for the higher the range and traders are using the top and the bottom for value so the top value to sell the bottom value to buy and that's what happens in level trading ranges but most of the time the market's on the move and when it's on the move it'll use the value area presented by average price the exponential moving averages looking further ahead so you can see a bit basically it's a bigger longer time frame level range with ups and downs in it so let's see uh, the two hour chart what's been going on and there's the range it's all up and down and not really moving anywhere not really moving anywhere however you'll notice that again price bounces off the ATMA and from the value area down here and is going higher it goes higher until it gets a lower high and then a lower low there and it starts going down when price crosses over the EMAs and you can see it crossed over there very strong red bar next time price went back up it sold off from the value areas one two three four five times there 
and then it came down. Big gap and it needs to go up to value. So it went up to value and how did it go up? Well, it went up in a weaker way than it went down. This was a big red candlestick. Went up in two bars and then sold off until this green bar was bigger. So you have to wait and see how strong these bars are and then you can get an idea as to what's going to happen next and the price went up. Big strong red bar price drops below the EMAs and starts going down but it was a good retaliation from the bulls that took price back above the EMAs when this one, this red bar finished miles below the EMAs, miles below value, went up and when it went up and it closed, it was above value. So then you can see it's bouncing up from value here. So it's all, you know, you have to wait and see what happens. But this type of trading and the way I trade, it gives you a good chance of knowing what's going to happen in the next bar. If price is a long way from the EMA, you know it's coming back. So you don't take trades long in here because you know it's going to come back at some point in time. However, um, when it gets close to the EMA and the value zone or it hits the, the value zone, there's a good chance it's going to get bought until there's a lower high, which there was here. Yeah, let's go further up and have a look at the daily chart. And the same thing is occurring. This is an uptrend, as you can see. No surprise, this is an index and it's a stock index. And therefore, over a long period of time, you'd expect it to go up more than it goes down. And that's why investors invest in money in stocks and shares. Um, very tight trading range here near all time highs, higher high from the value area and then price came down. Big red candlestick went below the EMAs but left a tail on the end of it and therefore it invited buyers to come in and it did reject down briefly here from the value area but they decided that they were buying again. and. So it's now in another trading range, very tight trading range at this point in time, which is why you're seeing tight price action and low volatility in the market on the lower time frames at the moment. Bigger picture, weekly chart, you can see it tracking this value area up, big bar, big bodied bar takes it below the value area. This was the, the uh, mini crash last April. March and April and price went down and then it came back up and you know was this this here was this stronger than this very similar and then you in here you get a big green bar takes it through the eight EMA big another big green bar takes it through again and you get a failure to go down twice on these red bars failure to go down lower and then price started rising rising up rising up until you get a lower high invited the bears in but they got they were weak and <laughs> the bulls took over big two big green bars and it's now bouncing off the value area again look at the monthly chart and this takes us right back to 2012 here and of course you can see it going up with the big drop last April and a big reply as well and this big green reply which was in November 2020 implied that because it went straight through the EMAs this was a this was a break of the EMAs as well this red bar if there was a reply that went up and finished here below the EMAs and then started leaving a tail uh, then it might have gone down again but it didn't it was a big strong bull reply went up came back down towards the value area and there's buying again so you're beginning to see, I hope, consistency in the charts.
consistency you know that was right across all of the charts this is the two minute chart again now and you can see it's tracking the value area big strong red bar bouncing down big strong green bar bounced up and then big strong red bar price goes down and it's bouncing down there big strong green bar goes through bouncing up and so I'm imagining now you get in the picture size of the bodies important size of the tails important because this is rejection here higher high but rejection big strong rejection have to wait and then oh rejected high, another higher high rejected higher prices and price starts falling so it's, you know, then just a question of working out where you take your trades. And I can help you with all of this. And this is what I do for a living. I love helping people be successes in their life. Um, and trading is one area I specialize in. I'm a coach. I'm a trainer. I've got a great trading course that you'd find useful for building your knowledge and it also comprises systems specific systems that you can use once you've tested what i'm saying so that you validate it you can use these techniques and systems yourself and i provide tutoring on the training courses as well just to provide that backup and it's my commitment to the people that I work with to do my best for you. And, uh, you know, that's what I get out of bed for. So I hope that you found that tutorial useful. This is just a brief snap snapshot. I could go into any chart here. This is Wall Street. I could go into any chart two time frames here this is wall street on the daily chart and you can see roughly the same thing of bouncing up off the value area the weekly chart on wall street bouncing up off the value area and that's what it is that's a brief overview of trading and you know these trades when you take a trade let's say you took a trade here um it doesn't, you know, well, I would take a trade down here. Um, it doesn't last forever. You know, you're not staying in. You, you get, you're taking your money. You, you're waiting for it to go green. You wait for the end of the bar on a good bar like that. And then you get out because you know that there's a gap and it's going to come back down and then you're in for another trade. And that's how I trade. And that's how I teach people to, uh, to improve their trading and we can improve your trading too I'm sure anyway that's it for today thanks ever so much for joining me my name is Anthony Beardsell and I work at the Excellence Assured Trading Academy you can join us at excellenceassured.com and I look forward to helping you bye for now see you on the next video cheers